Hey, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Warren G707 TV. And tonight's topic is body language. Do you know how to read body language? You think you know how to read body language or do you know how to read body language? It seems real simple, but a lot of people don't know how to read body language. I see it every day. Knowing, knowing how to read body language can get you out of a lot of shit. It can get you out of a lot of situations. It can actually save you if you know how to read body language. For real. Let's get into it. You know? Let's talk about it. I'll give you an example. Long time ago, back in the day when I was a kid, about five or six of us, we all riding bikes. We all riding bikes, right? We all ride down, we all ride down to the park right down from the house. We all riding around enjoying ourselves. We see another group of kids. They come to the park. When I seen that group, I felt a bad vibe, a real bad vibe. They didn't even talk. They didn't even say nothing to us yet. I could just feel a bad vibe. As they got closer, I was thinking, what should I do? Should I leave? Should I tell my partners what's going on? What should I do? You know what I did? I told my partners, I said, hey, man, this crowd that's coming towards us, this little group that's coming towards us, I really think that they own some negative, negative uh, energy right now. Um, we need to do it. We need to move. We need to keep it moving. I don't trust these, 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 these kids. I don't trust these other kids. I really don't. So anyways... One of my partners was like, nah, man, we good. We good. It's all right. Don't worry about it. It's good. You know what I'm saying? It's good. So the group of other kids, they come towards us. They on their bikes. Like I said, it was about five or six of us, and it had to be a little. It was more of them than it was us. They had to have at least eight or nine, right? So they get closer to us, and uh, they go to the biggest, the biggest cat that was in our group. And they ride up on him and they say, hey, can I see your bike? While they was asking him, can I see your bike? I'm telling them, don't let them see your bike. They going to try to take your bike, bro. You could just tell from the vibe, the body language. You can just tell the body language told it all. You know what he did? He still let him ride the bike. But at the time, me and a couple of the other kids that was around in the group, we had rode off. Next thing you know, we look back, he's coming towards us with no bike. You know what happened? They stole his bike. They beat him up and they stole his bike. We had to go to his house. We had to tell his parents and we had to try to go get the bike back. But that's just an example right there on how and why you should know how to read body language. Ladies. Don't just know how to read body language just because you could tell when a dude wants you and he looking at you and all that. He giving you the signal. Nah. Fellas, same thing. Don't just think because a woman looking at you and all that that you know body language. Nah. It's more than just that. Body language can get you out of a lot of situations. A lot of situations. You know? Um, I got another example. One time, I went to a, I went to a, a, a bar, long time ago, years ago. I went to a bar, and uh, it's not really even a good place to even be in. You know, I really don't even like bars, but we were at the bar playing pool, right? Seeing some cat across the room. He looking, he looking, but he not trying to make it seem like he got a problem, but he's still looking. And I could tell, I'm like, okay, he keep looking over here. He must have an issue. He either trying to test me. He trying to plan. He's planning on doing something. Something's going to happen because I ain't feeling it. Right? So anyways, we sitting there playing pool, playing pool, playing pool. Right? The next thing you know, homeboy walk up. He had a problem too. He looking all crazy in the face. Right? So he walk up to one of my cousins and he walk up to my cousin and he say, hey, man, where y'all from? Right. We just trying to enjoy the damn day, the damn night. We just trying to play pool, man. He over here trying to read me, focus on me and who I'm with, man. Come on. Focus on a female. Focus on a woman over there. Why are you focusing on a man? 
So anyways, right? He walk up to my cousin. He like, where y'all from? My cousin, he like, he like, first of all, you know what I mean? Who was you? Then he kind of stepped back and he looked and he said his name. He said, hold on, aren't you so-and-so? And homeboy said, yeah. And he said, boy, I'm your cousin, right? So the whole time, this cat was way across the room, mugging me, staring at me, looking at me crazy. I'm telling my partners it's about to be a problem, right? One of them clutching a pool table stick. They ready to go upside his head. But come to find out, when he walked up, he was actually my damn cousin. So I was with my cousin, but we ended up running into another cat at the bar, and he just so happened to be my cousin. My cousin that I was with recognized who he was and were like, you know, that's your first cousin from so-and-so. I'm not going to give no names and all that. I'm not going to do all that. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, protect protect people's identity and everything. But, yeah, man, come to find out, homeboy was my cousin. So we was going to go at it in the bar all because he was trying to figure out who he was, where we was from. But come to find out, one of the pre people that I was with was my cousin and he knew him and he like man that's our cousin from so and so side and that's our first cousin so that just show you how quick things can happen man you know what i'm saying the whole damn time i had a family member over here eyeballing me ready to get down and i'm ready to knock his head off and kind of find out that's my blood cousin but back to the point body language i'm way across the room i see this cat watching me everything i'm doing you know what i'm saying body language that goes with anything even when you go to work when you're working around your co-workers if you see your co-worker ain't really talking as much she ain't really or she ain't really being active as much maybe she might be going through something maybe he might be going through something don't just assume that they act in funny style and they just don't want to be bothered they might have something going on you know what i mean when i when i see somebody like if I go to work and I see somebody and they're not their self, I'm not going to be all in their face. I'm not going to be running my mouth, you know, the whole damn time, you know. And plus, I let people get into the building anyway. I let people get into the building, get set on in before you start talking. But certain people, you know, and this is no particular person, but I have seen it before, you know, in the past, but what they do is they don't really read the situation. They just go in and start going off at the mouth, start rambling off at the mouth. Don't read the situation. Look at your coworkers, assess them. Does, is, is she, he or she, are they acting like they normally act? You know, are they socializing like they normally socialize? Are they smiling? Are they being active? You got to look at these things. If they're not in the right frequency, they don't have the right energy, and you see it, back off. Don't get all up in their face. Give them their space. You know what I'm saying? Body language. Same thing. When you're talking to somebody, when you're having a conversation, especially to you men, when you have a conversation, we need to be six feet apart. I do not want another man in my face this close talking to me. It's annoying. And you can see it on my face because it's like, why the hell are you so close to me in my face talking to me? Back up some. I don't even care before COVID. And that's how I was. I wanted you six feet ap apart from me. I don't want you all in my face. That's how I always been way before this COVID shit. You know what I mean? But people don't understand body language. Body language is very important. It got me out of a lot of situations. It helped me read a lot of people that was faulty, that was trying to do something. You know what I mean? It, it, it really put me up on my game. But my, my the topic and the reason why I brought this topic up is because it's very important. You got to know how to read body language. You got to. Ladies, when you out there shopping and you see somebody watching you, staring at you, you know, he, he acting like he not looking at you, but he's staring at you and he on some weirdo shit. You need to be aware of that. You need to get it. You need to do it moving. Get away from him. Don't sit there and try to, oh, he's weird. I don't know why he's doing. Get away from him. Body language is very important. 
Very important. A lot of people think that they have that skill, knowing what body language is, knowing how to read people. A lot of people don't. A lot of people don't. Like 80% of the time when I go to work, I don't even be want to talk to nobody. But they still be all in my face. I don't even be going out my way to talk to nobody, but they be all in my face. Learn how to read body language, people. Okay? Plus, I've always been like that anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never really liked to socialize like that. It's not that much shit in the world to talk about, I feel, as a man. Like, what is there to talk about like that? All damn day. Back up. Get out my face. Stop standing all in my face talking. You don't even stand in a woman's face and talk like that. Come on, man. Read body language. In general, people. I'm talking to everybody watching this. No how to read body language. If you know how to read body language, that's good. That's good. You got the skill. But the people that don't know how to read body language, y'all need to get it together. Y'all need to learn. Some people, they just invade your, your, your space. You know, uh, like at work, you could be doing something. Somebody would come walk way up in your area. I mean, all in your face, shoulder to shoulder. I mean, come on, man, back up. Some people don't even say, excuse me, or I'm trying to do this, or I'm trying to do that. Excuse me. Nobody ever does that. Body language, people. I mean, and then when you, it's crazy, man. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, my God. I, I'm, you know, you got to know how to read body language. You got to. It's very important. You could tell when a person don't want to be bothered. You could tell when a person is in a good mood. You can kind of tell when a person is kind of shady. You can kind of tell when a person is kind of sneaky. Not all the time. Not all the time. But if you know how to read body language, you know how to read it, and you've been doing it for a long time, and you got this skill, and you can read certain things, and you always on point, that's how you know. That's how you know. But body language, people... It can keep you safe. It can keep you out of a lot of shit. And it can keep people... Uh, body language, it just keeps you out of a lot of shit. I'm going to just put it like that. It keeps you out of a lot of shit. And, you know, you just... You don't got time to be trying to figure out shit when it happens. You need to be able to see the shit before it happens. At least try to sense it out. I know you can't see everything before it happens, but you can kind of read situations you know also too when me being out there you know i got some street smarts knowing how to read situations knowing how to read people people skills you know understanding people you know so that's the topic for the night body language know how to read body language when you go talk to that person do they feel like being bothered with your ass huh do they feel like being bothered? Do they really feel like talking to you? Are they engaging into your conversation? Or are you just flapping your gums and you don't give a damn if they care or not? You just talking and they sitting there not interested. You got to feel stupid when somebody not interested in when the hell you talking. Come on now. Body language. It can go for a variety of situations, people. So that's what I got for y'all tonight. Body language. Get up on it, step your game up, know how to read body language. It can get you out of a lot of situations, especially to my ladies. When you out there in them streets, you know, not in the streets, streets like that. But when you out there in the streets, you go into the stores and gas stations and stuff, you know, you got to know how to read people. You got to know how to read what's going on around you. Body language. Very important. Don't be a Sims character walking around in La La Land, in the clouds, don't know what's going on, this guy over here plotting on you, straight snake, ready to take you out. You don't know, you just dancing around. <laughs> Mary Poppins. <laughs> Woo, y'all need to get up out of that cloud nine, man. Y'all need to know how to read body language, for real. 
So that's tonight's, that's tonight's topic. And y'all think about that. I'm out of here. And oh yeah, subscribe to the channel and quit playing. I'm out.